we have purchased new carpet. So the plan before, <laughs> it's a long involved story, you guys, just hold on. Okay, so we talked about, again, no makeup because physical work today, so sorry. Um, so we talked about replacing the floors with laminate floors, and we were going to do that, but um, in order to tear up the tile in the kitchen in the entryway, it was going to come close to tripling the cost of just replacing the carpet with new carpet. Um, the new refrigerator goes all the way to the cabinet above it, and you go, well, well of course it does, and I go, no, no, it like right it goes right to it so we're not able to leave the tile floor we can't just lay like a vinyl plank or a laminate or we can't put a layer of subfloor and then vinyl plank or laminate and then because it'll raise the floor up too much the refrigerator won't even go in we would lose another cabinet for those of you that have been around for a while you know we took down that wall between the kitchen and the living room where we lost three cabinets four cabinets doing that and even though we don't use the cabinet above the fridge a lot, I don't want to lose it entirely. So our options would be to take that down and sand it off and hope that we could get it right and get the super expensive fridge that's like a month old back in. But we're not going to try it. I am not willing to invest, you know, tens of thousands of dollars into the flooring into this townhouse. I'm just not. It's not gonna pay itself back in escalating the value of the townhouse. It isn't something that I'm willing to, to just accept. So we are tearing up the carpet and getting new carpet. So when the guys came to measure, they gave us a bid to move the bookshelves and it was $300 if we empty the bookshelves. So you're gonna charge me $300 to haul empty bookshelves downstairs? Or really, probably just because we've had new carpet put in before. Not here, but at a different house. So they emptied two rooms into one, did the carpet, and then brought the stuff back over. So you're going to charge me $300 to haul four empty bookshelves across the hallway and, and back? And you think I'm going to pay that? No, I'm not. So we went to the store. We found the carpet we want. They came and did the measurements. We agreed on a price and they've ordered the carpet. So we're waiting for the carpet to come in and then we'll schedule installation. So I know it's getting installed. I still don't know when. I have no idea as to what date or anything, but in the meantime, our deadline is getting these bookshelves out of here before Thursday for the, for the uh, all garbage pickup day so that they're gone and we don't have to worry about putting them in the garage that we just cleaned or where, where are they going to go? Who's going to take them? Who's hauling them? All of that. We'll just, all of that's done and over with. So that's on the agenda for today. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. If I should fall, just go ahead. Go and catch me, baby.
I ended up with a migraine after the carpet installation, so we didn't get a lot done on Thursday, and I worked on Friday, so half the house is put back together and half is not. So I'm just going to show you that downstairs, but Saturday we ran some errands, and then I will do a whole house tour. If I do fall decor, I'll do a house tour then. Otherwise, I will show you a whole house tour when I do my Christmas decor, and you can see all the new carpet. Okay, so we went and got groceries and I am going to, I'm not going to do a clean, but our 20 year old son has moved back in with us. And those of you that remember, those of you that have been around for a while know that he is a diesel mechanic who works third shift. So we have grease all over the light switches and the doorknobs and that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to go around and get that stuff cleaned up. I don't know if this shows up on the video very well, but there's grease all over the door here. We got this We got this I want to be daring, baby Dance the night away I let my head down if I want to just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time doesn't sound like fun you can do better let me show you what a good time looks like you can do better so much better I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to like Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time Looks like You can do better So much better Okay, I got most of the doors cleaned and the grease cleaned up and now I'm going to give Phil a haircut.
you cut to the chase. 